We in that Five Eyes Mob playlist, man. Click the link below for the drop. Fair use in your caboose, boom. Lego. Okay, okay. Tide battle got the drop. Okay, okay. Drop, drop, chatter. Chat, cha, chat, chatter. Hey, get a Bennett, man. Another David. Oh. Hey, who's the map? Get in that Five Eyes My Playlist, man. Ask yourself, <laughs> who's the Mac, man? Dawid Mac. Another David. We ain't even looked at this guy yet, huh? Same time frame, man. Look out for Preston John 71, 12th century. Popping off. Hmm. Aquatai got the drop. And David had a brother, Alexander. Okay. So he took the kingdom of Scotland for himself. And who are the Scots, right? <laughs> back to that back to that red thread. Man, Aquatai got the drop, man. I mean, you know, when you're talking about the original, the origin, right? These Scottish, these princess Scotias, right? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> These roots of Rusha looking like you. And yes, they are the lost tribes of Israel. Manak. With the Andrew's towel, right? The Hebrew towel. The Rus towel. These Ruses, these Davids. Con, con, con. Man, y'all trying to pop off 71 right here in your face bone. Nah, man, I'm going to fall back. Just had a great Shabbat. Just wanted to pull up a couple of these lists. Oh, the term Davidian revolution is used by many scholars to summarize the change which took place in Scotland during his reign. The Davidian revolution. All right, man. I mean, I was just <laughs> surfing the wave, you know what I'm saying? Kicking back with my bro, Five Eyes Ma. You know, I mean, look. When you come over here, man, five eyes, my oh, man, dodge, dodge the hijacks. First, you got to dodge the hijacks because, you know, they trying to come up. They trying to come up. <laughs> but you got a couple great playlists, man. And, um, you know, we definitely need to uh, start a 4 3 2 and a lot of these producers, man, that he got over here. A lot of these producers in the soul playlist, man. He had a couple of playlists. He got the soul playlist. Then he has, what, the tryout joint, man. You know what I mean? Just surf the wave with Five Eyes Ma. <laughs> Pop off with Five Eyes Ma. And, of course, we got the drive up music, man. Like, of course, we got the tribe up music. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, maybe we'll get a, some tribe up music as our theme song. You know, we got that Cursed Evil last time. Shout out to the bro. That Red Ruddy going hard, man. Look at all these great flows, man. It's too much fun. Taurus Sante, what he do? Oh, man, I might have to get that Tarzan to drop, man. Hey, we just surfing the way. Hey, I'm falling back. I want to do some great features. I want to feature some great drop coming on, you know, live on the radio every week from the Ether Squad, man. I want to feature some great, you know what I'm saying, uh, channels on YouTube popping off the bros that are the Ox, 
that are popping off the channels, man. I just want to, you know, give that a hop over there. We're talking that press the flow. Can you dig it? Can you dig it? <laughs> yeah, man. We in the drop drop chat, you know. You know what I'm saying? Nice little map. Jamaica drop. Let's go. Yo, Seth, let's go. Crazy how they just divide our land up. James this, George that, Thomas this. Well, this is a map of what? Yamaka, Jamaica. Okay, okay. Aquata, I know I like the maps. She know I like the maps. Oh, wow, let's go. Yourself don't fall. What time you coming through? Side battle. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Take me home and make me house Dragon Land, Terrasana, Lady Jester, help me out. Give me gold, make me crown. Ice cold, burn them down. KD, MVP, PVP, what you got? On my mama, I'm a foul. East, West, North, mm. South. Many kings, many seas, many things. I'm a shout. Open wings, holy breeze, overseas. Never drought. Hey, breaking T, I, M, E, Z, O, N, E. Puffing on Ethan, knowing her wow, all I need. Feed me, send me, give me all this energy. Just send me, stop these funky cops from killing me. Using military artillery. Feel me over melody. Boost my ability, guard my faculty. Bang. Scare my enemies. I feel like ten me, lease my identity. Unstoppable mini me. My style infinity. No light, literally. A drop top memory. They chop shop, pop lot, tariff is a felony. Bang. Why they want me? Our people alone. Man, y'all trees can't lock up my zone. <laughs> Called out we up on the phone. Tell my light it. Took them home. My homie, chromatic chrome. It's even enough to the stone. You can part the eat through the cone. Or run in my long theory. Lyrics spitting tongue. Wavy bars and give you wrong. Drunky monkey eating crumbs. Now he remember where he from. I give it back. You bummy bum. No, it's mine. You acting dumb. Hope I Hey, Ma be popping off. Say shout out to Five Eyes Ma. We enjoying the Five Eyes Ma playlist on YouTube, man. Just enjoying the flow. Shabbat Shalom Shabbat. I pray everyone had a Yapa Shabbat, man. Halawa Aquata. You got the drop. Yeah, she's you know over here trying to get us on a bread, a nice little breadcrumbs, man, to a nice investigation digging on this invasion of Jamaica. I think that's a nice point to, uh, you know, key in on, man. I mean, the invasion of Jamaica. Jamaica took place in May 1655 during the 1654 to 1660 Anglo-Spanish War when the English Expeditionary Force captured Spanish Jamaica. It was part of an ambitious plan by Oliver Cromwell to acquire new colonies in the Americas known as the Western Design. Although major settlements like Santiago de la Vega, now Spanish town, were poorly defended and quickly occupied, resistance by escaped slaves or Jamaican maroons continued in the interior. Okay, the Western design was largely a failure, but Jamaica remained in English hands and was formally ceded by Spain in 1670. Man, we just popping off. Nine spiral. Lego. Yeah, and it's coming out through the back. Riff rap me, not stop playing with the Naga. Ain't got no time for the bull crap. They trying to depopulate the whole face of the plan. Propagate race war plus vaccine. Trace contact and make me pull out this thing and find nigga up trying to stick me. No bluffing, embracing the fear on top of my world where Naga saying concrete. Stick and move with it. Better flight to the devil. Talk me, no pretender. Cause I rock with the 
power to get you dead. Turn around, put death back in ya. Terror side to coming down, the sky so proud, unfold like a flower before D. Breath taking, illuminate the face of the flame. Israel return to the old east. With an old chief, priest kings and oppressed the pressure. Never take with no wings. Avatar shit and quit this fast and dragons by their wheel speak here. Do the Paybacks in the playback, man. We over here in Tarzante. Hey, how about for the Yapa? You know, wave surf, y'all get in there. I definitely got to dig on this David the first of Scotland. Scotland. Hey, ha, man. Hi, man. Hi, man. Hey, man. Let's, uh, I want to dig on a couple of these beats, man. As I dig on some Hosea 3. So I told y'all we got the tribe up music. At Five Eyes Ma, the bro also got the great production popping off with the with the latest and livest producers on the tube, man. You can just go over here, click on the soul playlist. And that one that we started with was kind of dope, man. I might have to get that one back, man. Might have to get this joint back, man. Let's get this one again. This young nutty, man. Shout out to young nutty, man. Yeah, you know I mean. A Lego. Hey, shout out to the Aqua Peculiar Joy, man. She left a great comment in here. Let's surf this wave. She says, Shalom Khan and Shabbat. Shabbat Shalom Shabbat. Much a high to the tribe. I know that Hosea 3 and 5 is a pillar in our investigation. You already know we see Kawhi and King Dawi, and as we continue to read Jose and examine what is the creator's intention for us, if we talk and crystallize it, as we tribe up in real time, most of the real ones already know, but maybe this can be a reminder to someone to examine ourselves as we gather together and present our offerings and talents. Shabbat Shalom, much uh, Blue, purple, red, hey, man, y'all ready to build a fence. Y'all ready to build a fence, man. Peculiar joy, you know what I'm saying, um, you know, has nothing but pure hardball, you know what I'm saying? And she, you know, has made amazing uh, sacrifices for the creator, you know what I'm saying? She's given up everything, my you know what I'm saying? So we're going to be rallying around my sister, and we're going to be rallying around the land, man. Call it Joy World, because that's where we're at. We're going to build our fence blue, purple, red. And, you know, it's time to make these steps like the sister's saying. She said, as we continue to read this Hosea 3. And uh, let's get a piece of this Hosea, man. I mean, I, I love, you know, going into this reminder, man, that the aqua is popping off with. As Hawa said unto me, go let love a woman be loved of her friend and an adulteress, even as Hawa loves the children of Israel, though they turn into other gods and love cakes of raisins. So I bought her to me for 15 pieces of silver and a home of barley and a half home of barley. And I said unto her, thou shalt sit solitary for me many days. Thou shalt not play the harlot and thou shalt not be any man's wife, nor will I be thine. For the children of Israel shall sit solitary many days without a king, without a prince, Without sacrifice, without pillar, and without ephod or teraphim. Afterwards shall the children of Israel return and seek Hawa their power, and David their Khan, and shall come trembling into Hawa and to his goodness in the end of days. And the Aqua said, as we continue to read Hosea, so let's continue to read Hosea chapter 4. Hear the word of Hawa, you children of Israel, for Hawa has a controversy with the inhabitants of the land, because there is no truth, no mercy, nor knowledge of Hawa in the land. Swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery, they break all bounds, and blood touches blood. Therefore does, doth the land mourn, and every one that dwells therein. 
doth languish with the beasts of the field and the fowls of heaven. Yeah, the fish of the sea also are taken away. Yet let no man strive, neither let any man reprove, for thy people are as they that strive with the priest. Therefore shall they stumble, thou stumble in the day. And the prophet also shall stumble with thee in the night, and I will destroy thy mother. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Who got the drop? Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. Thou that thou shalt be, thou shalt be no priest before me, no con, right? What do we say in Hosea 3? What did we just get? You went a long time without a king, a long time without a priest. And you shall be no priest to me, seeing that thou hast forgotten the law. You ain't KTC. You forgot the law of Hawa. I also will forget thy children. The more they were increased, the more they sinned against me. I would change their glory into shame. They feed on the sin of my people and set their heart on their iniquity. And it is like people, like priests. And I will punish him for his ways. And I will recompense him for his doings. And they shall eat and have and not have enough. And they shall commit harlotry and shall not increase because they have left off to take heed to Hawa. Harlotry, wine, and new wine take away the heart. My people ask counsel at their stock, and their staff declares unto them, for the spirit of harlotry has caused them to err, and they have gone astray under their, from under their power. You're back in this because you keep going after other powers. They sacrifice upon the tops of the mountains and offer upon the hills under oaks and poplars and terebinths. Because the shadow thereof is good, therefore your daughters commit harlotry and your daughters-in-law commit adultery. I would not punish your daughters when they commit harlotry nor your daughters-in-law when they commit adultery, for they themselves consort with lewd women, and they sacrifice with harlots, and the people that is without understanding is distraught. Though thou, Israel, play the harlot, yet let not Judah become guilty, and come not ye until Gilgal, neither go up unto beth Aven, nor swear as Hawa lives. For Israel is stubborn, like a stubborn heifer. Now shall Hawa feed them as a lamb in a large place. Ephraim is joined to idols. Let them alone. When their carouse is over, they take to harlotry. Her rulers deeply love dishonor. The wind hath bound her up in her skirts, and they that and they shall be ashamed because of their sacrifices. Jose is a beautiful flow, eh, hop to the sister. You know, as we continue to read, we continue to cut and get cut, <laughs> you know, deeper and deeper into the pain, you know what I'm saying? The depth of the wound that we've inflicted on our creator with all this harlotry, with all this adultery. And now we come back to be KTC and like the Aqua said here in the drop drop chatter, chat to chat chatter. As we continue to read Jose and examine what is the creator intention for us if we talk and crystallize it. As we tribe up in real time, most of the real ones already know, but maybe this can be a reminder. And we need that Aqua Ahab to the Aqua to someone to examine ourselves as we gather together, present our offerings and our talents. Shabbat Shalom to the Aqua. Man, that felt good. You know, we just surfing the wave and, you know, we got Aqua tied back, Zion surfing the wave and why not get Zani, you know, with the Aqua is left to Aqua Joy, Aqua tie. we up in here, man. We up in here. You know, I wanted to let y'all in on something. Every single, you know, uh, Wednesday night, 
9 o'clock Pacific time. Aqua Thai been popping off for years in battle time. And let's just get a belly flop into one of the recent episodes exclusively <laughs> right here. Yeah, 432 The Drop. Dot com, you know what I'm saying? 432 to drop radio. Come over here, get the app, you know what I mean? Download the app for free. Hit up the website, you know what I'm saying? Get up in it. Get up in the radio, you know what I mean? And just surf the wave with us, man. I'm going to pull it up. I already got it queued up, man. And let's pop it off in battle time with Aqua Tai Bat Yeah. So much so. Oh boy. So much so. So much so. Don't you agree? Yeah. Two cups, so I'm chilling in my hand. One for me, one for my man. So chilling slow, really with my hand. Really in the plan, we just really with the plan. Shout out to CJ Battle, man. Hottest producer on earth, man. In the tablets when I'm up against my habits Time traveling to the past In the days of joyous laughing Got me thinking, man, what happened? I'm looking for Preston John Like, aye, aye, Cap Aye, 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 aye. Hijack Slayer We hijack free everywhere Execution X marks the spot in every prayer Drop nation they can tell us who we are. No, it's proud of seeds. They buried us and here we are. They'll say who's pressed the child. They'll say who's pressed the child. Boy, we got them on the run. Boy, we got them on the run. They'll say there's that magic center with that emerald pointed at them. Boy, we got them on the run. Man, we traveling up for fun. I'm in. Two cups, so chilling in my hand. Let go. One for me, one for my man. Come on. So chilling slow, really, with my hand. We really in the plan, we just really with the plan. So to get the drum, 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 so We've been patiently waiting. Shalom, 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 What it do? Welcome back to another episode of In Battle Time with me, your hostess, Ty. Bad Zama, we all looking for all uh, Prester King, Prester Khan, Prester Juan, Prester John in real time, in battle time. As always, in battle time, we dodge our own hijacks. 
and right now we are still in the pages of 1491 new revelations of the americas before colombo by charles c may in the second edition we are in chapter 11 no chapter 10 part 2 maybe not about reading in books the great law Let's go. We are on page 378, 379. So let's go, Drop Nation. Let's go. Fleeing the Nazis' conquest of Europe, the writer Vladimir Nubakov and his family took a ship to the United States in the spring of 14, 1940. Although Nubakov was the skiing scion, S C I O N, of Europe, of Russian's noble family, he detested the class bound servility ubiquitous in the land of his birth. He was delighted when the lowly U.S. Customs officer on the Manhattan dock failed to cringe at his aerocrastic bearings and pedigree. Indeed, he reported, quote, when he opened my suitcase and saw two pairs of boxing gloves, two officers put them on and began boxing. The third became interested in my collection of butterflies and even suggested one kind be called Captain. When the boxing and the conversation about butterflies finished, the customs men suggested I close the case and go, Uncle. Their straightforward, even brash demeanor within, with its implicit assumption that everyone was on the same social level enchanted him. Novikov was hardly the first immigrant to surprise to be surprised by the difference between Americans and Europeans. A cultural divide that Henry James, like many others, attribute to former, quote, democratic spirit, unquote. As has been widely noted, this spirit has consequences both positive and negative. The sense that anyone is good as anyone else fuels entrepreneurial self-reliance but also can lead to what outsiders view as political know-nothingism. For better or worse, though, this spirit is widely identified as one of the America's great gifts to the world. When rich stockbrokers in London and Paris proudly retain their working-class accents, when audiences show up at La Scala and tracksuits and sneakers when South Africans and Thais explain that the police don't read suspects their right as they do on Starsky and Hutt's reruns when anti-government pro- protesters in Cairo sing quote we shall overcome unquote in Egyptian accents all these raspberries in the face of social and legal authority have a distinctly American tone, no matter where they take place. To be sure, Apostles of Freedom has have risen in many places, but an overwhelming number have in, been inspired by the American example, or as it should perhaps be called, the Native American example, for among its fonts is Native American culture especially that of the Haudenosaunee. A loose mixture of A loose military alliance among the Seneca, Cayuga, Onondaga, Anawita, Mohawk, and after about 1720, the Tuscarora. The Haudenosaunee were one of the greatest indigenous polities north of the Rio Grande in the two centuries before Columbus and definitely the greatest in the two centuries after. Mm. The evidence is unclear, but the ancestors of the five nations, 
neighboring bands of gatherers and hunters All right. may have lived in their homeland since the glaciers retreated from the Finger Lakes. The 11 deep narrow lakes that like cat scratches across central New York State. Or oh, a dragon, huh? <laughs> Let's go. Let go. <laughs> Sometime around 1000 AD, the Indian agriculture trinity of maize, beans, and squash, maize, beans, and squash appear in the area. Taking up agriculture, the Finger Lakes people by now consolidate into five main groups, line the region's hills with farms. Population rose, as has happened time and time again when human societies make the transition from forging to farming. The bargaining, burgeoning cultures took to fighting with each other. Because the abduction injury or death of family wow. members had to be revenged, every violent incident led to a spiral of brutal tit-for-tat skirmishes. From this brutal environment of heroic figure emerged Dege, Dege Nawida, the peacemaker. Dege, Dege Nawida. I mean, I, I, I see <laughs> Dango we, I don't know, but D-E-G-A-N-A-W-I-D-A-H. The Ghana Wida. The Ghana Wida. The peacemaker. All right. So little was known about the Degen Nawida's life. The archaeologists agree about whether he actually walked the earth or belongs entirely to the realm of legend. Let's go. <coughs> Salakia. So Various traditions provide different accounts of his background, but most say that Deganawida was not a member of the Five Nations. He was a shamanic outsider who was born to a virgin girl in a village far to the north. Abjuring his past, he floated from his home village in a canoe made from white stone and wandered the Adirondack and Allegheny Forest, then a place of constant violence and apparently intermittent, intermittent cannibalism. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Dodge. <laughs> your own hijacks. <laughs> Dodge your own damn hijack, man. Aqua time, man. Looky here, man. Looky here, man. Let's go down the rabbit hole, my naga. Yeah, we're going down the dragon hole. We're going down the dragon hole. Hey, aqua ties, you know, this is season four. You know what I mean? The aqua is, is, you know, kicking off, you know what I'm saying? Just a great continuation of in battle time, man. I'm grateful to my aqua, you know what I mean? The support has been uh, unmatched, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> From aq to aqua, you know, aqua tie battle support has been unmatched, you know what I'm saying? So, Hey, Hob Aqua, you know, we appreciate digging on it. And Battle Time, and y'all can dig on it too every Wednesday, 9 o'clock Pacific. Look out for it, man. It will be getting updated regularly again at 432thedrop.com. So you can click on the episodes that you haven't seen, you know, as we continue uh, with the cons. And, you know, come over here to the Drop Chatter and get linky, man, with Aqua Tie, flow with Aqua Joy. You know what I mean? Flow, you know, with the drop, because that's what we're doing. Hey, man, we're going to go um, into my bro nine spiral, man. This is a great feature session. We feature in the tribe, you know, at 432 to drop radio and all the uh, Ether squad that's dropping their YouTubes as well, man. And we, we got to keep the water flowing for the tribe because the tribe right now, man, is all about the vibe. You know what I mean? Great drop right here. Support the bros page, man. Nine spirals popping off. Former NASA. Official confession. Uh oh. Hey, what's happening? It's your boy Nine Spiral. Let go. Fair use. YouTube, fair use. I am exerting my First Amendment right as freedom of press. Hello, get these letters. 
fairly regularly. I can't thank this person enough for sending me this information. And again, I have to say thank you to all the people who have ever sent me information. You guys are the best audience. You're absolutely amazing. I'm astounded by how much you guys know. So please continue to share. This is how these things get done, is when we share. So this is former NASA official confession. I'll show you my Gmail inbox here. And you can see where this came from. Now he says he's used some aliases here to cover his tracks, so it makes it a little more difficult for them to directly punish him. This is a former NASA official's confession. To whom it may concern, my name is Dr. Keith Smith. I am a former chief engineer with NASA. I write this message to you at great risk to my personal safety, as well as that of my family. However, after viewing your channel and videos, I believe that you may be able to help me. I'm trying to get my story out to as many truth seekers like yourself as possible. There are terrible things going on right now that the people need to know about. You are a brave person for being willing to speak out against the evil powers that be. Below is the story of how I became a part of the conspiracy to blind the masses to the true nature of reality. I joined NASA in 1996 after earning my doctorate's degree from the University of Michigan. I genuinely believed that the work that I was doing on the shuttle program was putting men in space. As a low-level engineer, I was still indoctrinated with the lie of the Earth's shape. In 2012, I was promoted to chief engineer. In this position, I was tasked with overseeing the engineers and designers of various projects and future missions in the space program. At least, this is what I thought I would be doing. It was only later that I found out that I received this promotion because my superiors felt that I could be trusted with the secret. On June 7, 2012, I was approached directly by the acting administrator of NASA, Charles Bolden. When he offered me the promotion, I readily accepted. It was at this point that I had to be let in on the secret. On June 10, I went to Washington, D.C. to meet with Administrator Bolden. The pretense of the meeting was as a way of meeting the other heads of NASA and as an introduction to my new position. When I went into the meeting room at NASA headquarters in Washington, D.C., they sat me down and went through introductions. The meeting consisted of myself, Administrator Bolden, Deputy Administrator Lori Garber, Associate Administrator Robert Lightfoot, Director Michael Coates of Johnson Space Center, Director Robert Cabana of Kennedy Space Center, Director Arthur Goldman of Marshall Space Center, and Chief Scientist Walid Abdelladi. After the niceties had concluded, Bolden became very serious. He told me that what I was about to hear was going to change my entire life and that I may struggle to believe it at first. His only request was that I hear him out. From here, he revealed the secret to me. I will never forget the moment Administrator Bolden looked me in the eyes and said, everything that you have ever been taught is a lie. From here, he told me that the earth was in fact flat. This is something that had been known for thousands of years by the ancient peoples. However, as the general population became more educated and their social status increased, they became restless and a danger to themselves. It became necessary for a great lie in order to prevent a collapse of society and another dark age. You see, historians will tell you that humans have known that the Earth was round for thousands of years. They will point to the likes of Eratosthenes, or Eratosthenes, saying that he knew the Earth was a globe in the 3rd century BC. They will even say that he calculated the circumference of the globe to within 1% accuracy by having Bematis measure the distance between Alexandria and Syene by walking the distance and counting steps. However, these historical records have been fabricated and left for the historians and archaeologists to discover. It was only 200 years ago that the true nature of the Earth was general knowledge. However, all records of this knowledge have been destroyed. I was also told that NASA's true purpose was not space exploration, but maintaining the globe conspiracy and maintaining the integrity of civilization. When Administrator Bolden had finished, I was left in utter shock at what I had heard. Surely this could not be true. It must be some form of trick or joke. In fact, when Bolden finished, I just laughed at him. However, Bolden maintained his composure. He told me that he too reacted the same way when he heard the truth. Others in the room went about recounting their stories of first hearing the truth. In fact, Director Goldman said that it took him months to be fully convinced. I was told to go back to my hotel and think it over. At first, I was in denial of the truth. It took weeks before I fully accepted what I should have always known. The other senior NASA officials were very supportive of me throughout the process, being patient with me and questions. As chief engineer, my main job was coming up with plausible designs to then pass down to lower level engineers. They would then properly design and even build the spacecraft. 
They never knew that what they were designing would never go to space. It was my job to ensure that. Whenever we launched a rocket, it would just fly out of range of the TV cameras and civilian tracking capabilities before ditching into the ocean. Whoa. Many rockets can even still be found at the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean. I went along with spreading the lie for seven years until I retired at the end of 2019. Even after I retired, I was still fully on board with spreading the lie of the globe. I was indoctrinated to a fanatical degree that lying about the Earth's true form was the only way to preserve society. However, with the COVID pandemic, I had a religious awakening and found God for the first time in my life. Through this, I realized the error of my ways. The people have a right to know the truth. It may cause a social upheaval, but I think that it is worth it to break the authority of the conspiracy. As a part of the conspiracy, my every move is closely watched. They have been growing suspicious of me. I am using false aliases as a way of defending my identity and delaying them from silencing me. I strongly believe that it is important that the truth is spread to as many people as possible. They will do everything they can to suppress your message. It is no accident that YouTube and similar platforms are cracking down on conspiracy videos. I hope you find this information helpful. Please feel free to reach out with any questions that you may have. I will try my best to be responsive for as long as possible. Thank you, Dr. Keith Smith. Hey, man. Nine spirals popping off, man. You know, make sure you come over here. Give that AI to the eye. Nine spiral. And enjoy the page, man. Because like I said, I mean, he's popping off. You know what I'm saying? I mean, <laughs> he's popping off like Coom Coom. He's popping off Jakan Coom. You know what I mean? Beautiful work, bro. You know, I'm just, you know, just catching up myself to all this eat that you dropping, man. And, you know, it's just truly yeah, pop, man. He, he got noggins in the headlock, man. Me different kind of noggin, man. <laughs> He's talking about the, uh, you know, I mean, the truth behind these world fair flows. You know, we really got to, you know, dig on that a lot closer. Uh, man, I mean, you know, all the way to these uh, dracons popping off. He got forbidden scriptures, man. You know, where he's reading the script to the noggins. Got to enjoy the flow. When it's coming from that pure awata. Dig on it, man, with the bro. Nine. Spiral. And while we over here, man, matter of fact, you know what we're going to do? You know what we're going to do? We're going to go back and forth. Let's get back into the drop radio flow. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let's see who y'all want to hear. You know, we got Yosef the Real popping off. We got Natural by Law popping off. Why don't we belly flop with Natural by Law? His uh, season four, episode 21. Live in the ether, man. We're going to belly flop like right in the middle of it. Uh, let's get the intro, though. Let's get the intro. <laughs> Peace to the tribe. Yeah. Peace to the tribe. Yeah. Hey, how I tell you about the tap in to all the Drake cons on the wall, to all the copper colored cons, to the Ockies and Aqua, and all the droplets in between. You know what I'm saying? It's wonderful to be back with the the Shabbata, you know, we're going to get into some discussions, we're going to be building on that ether once again, you know what I'm saying, because the ether is everything, Bang. I mean, we even got some drop, you know, they trying to say the ether is, you know, the so-called Holy Spirit, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying, there you go. on the last week, we're going to build as we usually do, and we're going to get this ether bus. Started, yeah. Hey, ha, hey, We're about to get the second pack of these crystals sent out. Woo. Still gathering a few addresses. Okay. And um, you know, appreciate the hey, from all the real ones, man. You know, I've been busy. You know, <laughs> and the bro, the bro's been busy because you know what I'm saying he's been putting out such beautiful quality on NaturalByLaw.net. So. He's busy for a reason, you know. He he gets it honestly, Managa, because you know his work, the beautiful um, you know pieces he's been sending to the tribe on the free, you know what I mean? Just making sure we had the the full package, man. He's been sending packages out on the free scope, you know what I'm saying? So the bro is truly dedicated, man, to you know charging the Nagas up, and please, you know, give him that a hop because he he deserves that right back to him, you know what I'm saying? So hit up naturalbylaw.net. You're going to see some beautiful gem bottles. 
crystallizations, man. I mean, the bros popping off, man. Nine star shipments. Yeah. Everyone's pouring in from all over, you know, the plane and connecting in real time, charging a Drake Hunt up, you know what I'm saying? And, man, family words can only go so far. The A-Hob is really, really real. We building on our magnetic frequency right about now. We just tuning up. You know, we, we getting right. But it's all due to you. It's all due to the A-Hob, to that pure water flow that um, continues to just you know, radiate from within the tribe, you know, and it's just a beautiful feeling, man. You know, shout out, you know, to the to the tribe, you know, I, I was fortunate enough to receive a message saying that, you know, they was able to heal their son based off, you know, the material I have on my page. You know, they, wow. you know this, this woman was, she basically took her son to get vaccinated and then ended up learning about the vaccinations and just how, you know, the tribe's been going hard about the misinformation they're giving us through media. And her son ended up getting sick, really, really sick, called, uh, I think, autism, she said. And she was able to heal him by using the natural remedies that I post on my Instagram. And it's hearing stories like that that really, you know, allows me to build this magnetic field you know, this etheric field that, you know, they really refer to as aura. You know, our auras are our ether fields, which is why it's so necessary for us to take care of them. We're going to be doing some builds on that, you know, not to jump off into a tangent or anything, but I really want to express my AHA and, you know, just my appreciation from the heart bone as, you know, we spiral up. And, you know, it's all, you know, praises to the creator, most of wow. everything. As we participate in this kinetic energy together, so peace, peace to the real ones. Let's get this ether bus cranked up. Yeah, Let's see what we got. <laughs> Shalom. And hey, he really do crank that ether bus up, though. Listen to this ether bus as it gets cranking, man. This is what we go through <laughs> every Wednesday, man. Ten o'clock Pacific. You're tuning in to the Naturalist. Ready for a ride? Y'all ready to go to Drop City, man? We in the ether. <laughs> Let's go, man. We about to pop off, man. Uh, hold up. Did you just hear what he said? Nah, what he say, bro? He just said that calcite, magnetite, and another type of crystal were found in the pineal gland. Found in the pineal gland, my nigga. Are you are you paying attention to the ladder to the level of ether we are generating right now? We are radiating that ether in the ether. You know what I'm saying? I know it's late. I know you might be, you know, building in your ether right now, charging up in the darkness. So when you catch this replay on the rerun. You'll hear that pure water like that water you dog, right? But we're talking about crystals in the brain, my nigga, in the pineal gland. Okay, I got this study on publicmed.gov. The title was called Calcite Microcrystals in the Pineal Gland of Human Brain. First physical and chemical studies. I mean, we cannot make this up. A new form of biomineralization has been studied in the pineal gland of human brain. It consists of small crystals that are less than 20 microns in length and that are completely distinct from often observed mulberry type hydroxy appetite concretion. And, you know, we got the appetite on the site. So go and check that out. That's naturalbylaw.net. Yeah. We got some nice appetite towers. Right. It says a special procedure was developed for isolation of the crystals from the organic matter in the pineal gland. Cubic hexagonal and cylindrical cylindrical morphologies have been identified using scanning electron microscopy. 
The crystal edges were sharp, whereas their surfaces were rough. Energy dispersive spectro spectropathy showed that the crystals contain only elements, only the elements calcium, carbon, and oxygen. All right. It says selected area electron diffraction in near infrared Raman spectroscopy established that the crystals were calcite. All right, calcite crystal. Mm. We're gonna go ahead and dig a little bit more into what this calcite is. One time, the chisel. All right, now you see why naturals on these stones and gems. You can get yours too at naturalbylove.net. Shout out to the squad. Bang. The squad. It's everyone getting ready to get their packages sent out. Man, this is an amazing drop. This is an amazing build. We're talking crystal. We're talking calcite microcrystals in the pineal gland of the human brain. Pull this arc up. We are in the ether right now, and I'm charging up. Natural's about to lose it, man. <laughs> we enter in the supernaturalist right about now. We peace, popping peace, on. Shout my time over the airwaves, man. Yeah. We on the neck of the high jack. They just tune in there. <laughs> Wow. So building on this calcite, um, calcite, you know, is an extraordinary crystal. Okay. Mm -hmm. Calcite. Uh, just kidding. It's a powerful amplifier and cleanser of energy. It cleans negative energies from the environment. It brings forth a polarizing prismatic energy, which engenders the spectrum of energy to clear and to activate all chakras. All right? That's what they say. It also says that um, it's a spiritual it's a spiritual stone. All right, that facilitates the opening of higher consciousness and you know different abilities. It helps mind and body to remember experiences. All right, and it also uh, deals with the emotions and intellect. And it is a, a, an amazing stone when studying the arts and sciences. All right, so, you know, that, that kind of lines up to what, you know, we were getting. And um, specifically, right, I want to... Uh, check out blue calcite right because you know i actually like this one and you know we have quite a few pieces of it you know ourselves it says blue calcite is a very powerful stone when it comes to soothing and relaxing the emotional body all right and it says this stone is known to calm emotions and offers mental and etheric protection and this is what we've been digging on, right? This etherical body and, you know, connecting everything as far as, you know, the ether goes and you being personified, okay. but also with this crystal being in the pineal gland, right? We're going to dig on this as well. Um, blue calcite is very protective when it comes to one's aura and offers very strong transmutational energies. Now, you know, this is amazing when it's... You know, people ask, how do I build up my magnetic field? Well, this is one of the ways. Um, your thought process should be something that you truly wish to intend. You know what I'm saying? Because you got to stay focused. And now that we're understanding or understanding that, you know, there are crystals inside the so-called pine pineal gland. <laughs> you know what I mean? The magnetite. I mean, that's we're going to dig into that when we get to it. You know? But... <laughs> Carrying forward, all right, we're digging on. Hey, I just got to say, man, my bro Natural by Law is a real etheric one, man. When you talk ether, the bro is literally, you know, popping off straight from the straight from the navel, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> He's getting all the drops straight from mama, you know what I mean? So a lot of wild for a bro like this, steady water throughout the years. You know what I'm saying? Um, only crystallized. You know, he don't switch up. He don't change up. He he crystallized. You know what I'm saying? He gets better and brighter. Hits that mark every single time, man. And 
you know, it's it's only getting better. You know what I'm saying? As we, you know, get into this understanding of who we are and the connectivity that we already got, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's truly um, a testament to our creator, you know what I mean? So tuning in, I mean, that's an exclusive, my knock <laughs> at 432, the drop radio for the try. You know what I mean? Every single Wednesday night, 10 o'clock Pacific, you know, and we do run the replays all the time. And look out for us, man. I said, look out for us, man. We just popping off. They just tuning in. <laughs> you know who's tuning in, man? You know who you should be tuning in to and with all the doggone time, man. But, you know, uh, those dog heads, they're mediocre. You know, them jackals, they mediocre, man. <laughs> Templar already know what's up, man. Templar up, function of romance. You know we got to check in with the Templar. Y'all go click the links below to check in in these classrooms. I'm leading y'all to the water. You know, pretty soon you ain't going to be able to get all these noggers on YouTube. Once YouTube do do YouTube, we got to be right here, man. We got to be firm, fixed, and immovable. We got to be right here in the drop, drop, chatter, chat, 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 chatter, surfing the wave, dropping the links. We're going to get way more interactive with our flow. Ooh. We'll be able to link up my naga beautifully. You know what I'm saying? We're going to zone our entire site up. You know, right now, check in. we got a spot to check in with. Everything's getting zoned up around here. 432 to drop. Hey, man, Fireball Miss D is checking in. She said, do you already, did you already do the Shibata show? We coming in hot. I'm just re, you know, I'm just getting re-spiraled up. You know what I'm saying? With the Shibata show. You know, I'm going to find a way to do it so that I can do it and still get my zon, get my rest on the Shabbat. Maybe do like a pre-record type of thing. I just got to get my schedule together, man. Just be with me, man. Just be with me, my niggas. Fireball already knows she with me, man. Fireball got the tribe, man. So, la, wa, Fireball's in the building. But this is where we at. You know, we're going to drop all the drop exclusively at 432thedrop.com. We're going to be our own uh, YouTube, our own IG. We're going to have a spot that we can come and, you know what I'm saying, you can have the app. It'll have a password to it. You know, you can communicate through it. It'll be, you know, we're going to have a whole situation. Like, we got some real IT noggers out there. <laughs> Shout out to my IT noggers, you know what I'm saying. I'm just going to say my IT noggin, you know what I mean. <laughs> it's really going to, uh, you know, get me right. So look out for us, man. Be patient. By the end of the year, it's going to be cray cray right here at 432 thedropcom and just say, you know, keep support, man. Become a dragon on the wall, a dragon sponsor on the wall. You know what I'm saying? Support the tribe. You know what I'm saying? Just uh, click dragon sponsors, man. You'll be right there with us. And, you know, this is how you keep the lights on so that we can keep the radio and the ether flowing. All of what you do as a sponsor goes equally to the entire ether squad. You know what I'm saying? During our seasons, my naga. So, you know, right now we're in season four. We popping off, so you a dragon sponsor on the wall. You a copper dragon. You a silver dragon. You a gold dragon sponsor. This is coming in monthly, and we break bread equally to all the radio shows, all the ether squad. You know what I'm saying? You know, popping this. You know, popping off, man. Popping this ether off. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, out to my copper dragon, silver dragon, and my gold dragon sponsors. It's truly something that is our only. You know, this is our only hope right here, you know what I'm saying, to be able to have have, have Nagas pop off that's supported by Nagas that's popping off. You know what I'm saying? We got the dragons popping off that's supported by dragons on the wall. And that's you, you know, become a dragon on the wall. I, you know, right here at 432thedrop.com, man. And, you know, it means everything to us. You know, this means everything to break bread as a squad every month to save our money to do what we got to do. You know what I'm saying? So, A-hop to you. A-hop to you, man. Templar up. Templar up. Get in the classroom a nine spiral. Can you dig it? Hey, man, let's go, man. Templar pops off every Tuesday night. What is it, Temp? Nine o'clock Pacific. You know, right after that, Judah the Great Jedi. Yeah, we in the dojo learning about the Palm Hill Strikes. You know, every Tuesday, eight o'clock, my big bro, Judah, the great Jedi, got us in the dojo meditations. And at 9 o'clock, we come in in hot with Templar up. Oh, yeah, yeah. I got some more natural by law drop. Don't you trip. Don't you trip. We're having a great wave surf with the Eat the Squad. Can you dig it? The the Eat the Bus is already popping off. Templar's in the bus. We'll let go. 
Tip Laura. Tip Laura. Tip Laura. Thank you for surfing the wave with me. Because I've been surfing the wave with you. Okay. Okay. Back Scopia to you and yours. Made it to another checkpoint. Despite all the drama, Daddy. Despite all the hijack, you're surfing away with me because I'm surfing away with you. Take your breath of security. It's just me, you, and Hawa. There's no time. There's only the way. <sighs> wow. 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 Feel better? Wow, let go. Take it in a moment. Pop it off. Into your cup. And let it all go. Let's go, Templar. Let's go, man. Let's go, man. Continuing with the kind of function flow. Taking a step back in order take two steps forward since we made it to another checkpoint this should be a good time to discuss what's the function of romance our ancient love song but first since this is the Shabbat, most high over everything, in HOE, let's pop off the script so that we can frame it before we shape it. Today we're going to pop off with uh, Hosea 4 and 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I also reject thee. That thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law wow. of thy power, of thy God. I will also forget thy children. Wow. But Naga, I can't make this up. I didn't know Templar was about to read the same script, love to Aqua, peculiar joy that led me to that. She said, when we continue reading after Hosea 3, so we read continuously into Hosea 4. And then we belly flop with one of the new drops dropping over here with the Templar. And I mean, the Templar got to drop, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> the Templar got the function, you know? The romance. <laughs> we talking drop nation. Hey man, is you drop nation? Do you got the drop? The drop is the purified substance. I know you felt a lot of pressure. You know, I know you've been feeling pressure, my naga. Pressure over here, pressure over there, pressure over there. But you're the purified substance. So no matter what pressure is put on you, 
You just get more drop. They pressurize you until you pop off. You know what I'm saying? And you got the drop. You got that water. Drop Nation got that water. Enough to the bro natural by law, man. You got that water. Hold on, man. <laughs> this is what I love about Wave Surfer, man. Can't nobody do it. Can't nobody do it like us, Drop Nation. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, you're going to have to have a tribe, right? And in that tribe, you're going to have to have Five Eyes Ma. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if Five Eyes Ma, you already know he's going to have that. He's going to have that water. Hold on, man. Can I get back in the tribal mafia playlist, man? Love to natural by law. This was, uh, I think, one of the first, if not the first, collabo I did with my bro Nat, man. And uh, we got... We got some work to do, bro. You know what I'm saying? The bro already know. We just getting cozy. We popping off babies. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the family's popping off. The families are popping off, man. Hey, love to the bro. Five eyes, mob, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, the families are popping off, man. You know. Five eyes, ma. It's going crazy. Crazy. And you know what, man? Hold up, man. This ain't no play play. We got that water. Drop Nation got that water. <laughs> and let's pop off, man. Five eyes, my Let go. surfing the wave and then wave surfing and all these screenshots man these are screenshots throughout the years of investigation man and who knows man i got uh, cover art man all kind of cool stuff man love the five eyes man. i told y'all man we got that water hey templar man um i hope you don't mind man taking a quick intermission we're coming in high with the templar 
we just getting it ready for you, man. Cause we got that that water. Drop Nation got that water. Natural by law. Got that water, the nation got that water, water, water. Got that water, the nation got that water, water, water. Got that water, the nation got that water. You got that water, the nation got that water, water, water. Pure water spreading on me. Drop nation, we wetting on me. Breaking news, I'm betting on you. You might see the sun setting on you. Under the ends of California. Oh, I'm glad I'm born here. Breaking news, I'm breaking fools, I'm breaking rules, I'm locking labels. Ain't tripping about what they do. I'm trying to orchestrate the gang truths. Breaking news, we giving gangs truth behind the wall. I saw the main group to my soldiers on the main line. In the state of doing fed time. Breaking news, you breaking loose, gonna cut the news and cut they damn spine. They lost so superficial. They're gonna make us press the issue. Ain't no capping unless I'm capping off these scouts like they did my kids. Kid folk have turned to combo. Con up you from the combo. Breaking news, we practice kung fu, steal your heart before the first move. Uh. What? Don't you confuse us with swim teams. I got this addiction with 16s. Surfing through scriptures, avoiding the fishes. Appalachians with the priest king. I've been chosen since like 15. This speed is water, so I mix clean. We split up the oceans with hijacks approaching. No timber licking, but I'm in sync. They don't want to swim because my pen's deep. They don't want to see us when it ends me. All that shit talking, keep it discreet. I was just to you if you want beef. Hyperbolic, yeah, I'm concrete. Catch me meditating on a large reef. Ain't no simulation with an orange reach that can influence or harm me. Are you surfing the wave? Frequency from the ancient of days. Talking real big, but you're sounding afraid. Drop nation, yeah, it's all in your face. Already behind, cause you're caught in the race. We only drop up and we flow at a pace. Rolling that earth with exotic for taste. We only spread knowledge, don't make no mistake. Ooh, you know, it's dope, uh, bringing out this tribe up music, you know, surfing the wave. We're doing nothing, but we in the eat the 100. I don't got nothing written down. We just literally surfing the wave. I got the bros. You know what I'm saying? Great drop up. The aqua type battle. She's dropping dry. We up in the drop, drop chatter. Chatter, chat, chatter. We got the dragons on the wall. My noggins is popping off. Hey, how to the toll. Texas flow. <laughs> this the this is clan battle, man. You know what I'm saying? This the toll Texas flow. Look out for us, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, only the real, only the wave, man. Tim Blar up. Templar, all right, Templar, we we just had to bring you in, right? Because we've been surfing the wave with this Hosea for love to peculiar joy, you know. <sighs> Only the way. So we just dug on the 10, right? So however, whether whether you want to take this from the perspective of the priest king, or if you want to take this from the perspective of Hawa, the conclusion same
So the my right is Hosea. We got that wall. The people, okay, that's, 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 that's you and, you and me, the 10 lost tribes, right, my people are destroyed, do People are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Pause. Okay. You see, we're talking about everything and the no thing, right? The no thing. Knowledge is the no thing that has a ledge to it. That's why you need to understand, overstand, and understand. But in order to do that, the knowledge needs a ledge. Now, it's going to elaborate here. Because thou hast rejected, right? Rejected knowledge. Now, let's be clear. Knowledge isn't data. Knowledge isn't uh, uh, Knowledge isn't data. Knowledge isn't information. You see, data and information, that's under the jurisdiction of Ham and Jafet. But knowledge is under the jurisdiction of Shem. Mm. If you take a look around and you pay attention, not that we don't have data, because we have the data. And we definitely uh, also got the information. But we're destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Now, because thou hast rejected knowledge, right? I will reject thee. That thou shalt be no priest to me. Now, this me is the my, is Hosea, is your priest king. Now, we know what the definition of a of a priest is, right? We dug on that. But notice it's a priest to Hawa, it's a priest to Hosea, it's a priest to your priest king. So with that being said, dig on that for a second. You know, we're 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 searching for Pastor John, we're searching for David, we're searching for our priest king. But the priest king use us as a priest to 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 himself seeing that thou that's again the, the, the thou is the people right seeing that thou has forgotten the law right of 
thy power, of thy function, of thy framer, of thy shaper, of thy function. I will also forget thy children. Now why? Because when the priest came, when David is given to you, he's given to us. If we're not in order, when he presents himself to the children, the children won't know him. children won't know him so speaking of subjects and objects knowledge equates to what children right mm. right okay. 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 now What we're going to talk about today, when it comes down to the function, we're going to talk about the function of romance. <laughs> yeah. And uh, believe it or not, this is uh, how we're going to pop off. This is Moshe. This is Aaron. And we're talking about the uh, blue, purple, red, <laughs> white linen, gold thread. thread. Wow. Hey, man, I can't make this up, man. The Templar's always on time. Always on time. Because he already know. You know what I'm saying? The hijacks never lay. <laughs> hey, uh, Templar, Urban Reed, get in the classroom. Click the links below. We still popping off, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, matter of fact, you know, <laughs> you know, I got my flow going now. We got a flow going in that tribal mafia music, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, it's the flow. It's the eat the cut. You know what I mean? I remember this beautiful joy right here. This is that Eat the Cut with Natural by Law. Yosef the Real. We about to get this Yosef classroom to Kev, but not popping every single Monday. Can you dig it? Hey, it's all happening. It's all happening. Let's go, Yosef, man. It's all happening. Eat the no, sir. I'm just talking that ether. What? Pair water up in your speaker. Uh. You better get a rap, it gets deeper. Deep. Like a twisted joint of that reefer. Reason I ain't ever really trust teachers. Nah. Their education mistreats us. Nice. Wise lies is all they ever feed us. Uh. Their lessons don't seem to reach us. Flow is procedures, is often the cleanest. Get this in these rhymes. I feel like a genius to find this time. It's somewhat the meanest, so I have to decline. When they missing Jesus, is leaving uh. up under the static of delicate habits. The traffic can trap it, so there goes our magic. Oh, Melon is bathing like venom and action. They have no idea, so I just enhance it naturally, natural. Naturally, natural. I'm fresh off the avenue, flowing with Yosef while dodging your attitude. Drop nation is order without the reporter, not switching the altitudes. Primordial fire, original spire, increasing the magnitude. Increase. No changing our focus, need deep in the ocean. The choppers are frozen and never in motion. Motion, yeah. Frozen. It's all for devotion. What? It's all for devotion. These niggas is bogus. It's all for devotion. These niggas is bogus. These niggas is bogus. Ether, cup. <laughs> Let the rule 
My bros popping off, man. My bros is popping off, man. Hey, my my ox is cooking it up, man. They got that Amas cooking, man. <laughs> hey, how to bro, Quam, man. They got that Amas cooking popping off, man. Hey, yourself, man. Can you uh, go ahead and uh, take the wheel? You know, Natural got the bus already cranking up, man. You know, we popping off just a great flow session, a great glow session with the tribe for the tribe by the tribe. You know what I mean? Tribal Mafia, man. This is Tribe Up Music. You ain't never heard nothing like it before, ever. You know what I'm saying? This is what we're doing right now in real time. You know, taking the talents, the flow, the producers, you know what I'm saying, the artists. Hey, we're just popping off, you know what I'm saying? Hey, hi for your patience, because we just popping off. Send us your drop if you're a producer, man. We we ready to pop off with you, you know what I'm saying? And all the... All my noggins, man, is, that got the, uh, you know, got the flow, you know what I'm saying? Hey, let us feature it, man, and let's pop off, man. Hey, hey I, natural by law, yo, Seth, the real. Hey, yo, Seth. Hey, yo, Seth. <laughs> hey, my bro, yo, Seth. Hey, man, it's time to take the wheel. Time to take the wheel with yo, Seth, the real. Y'all want to get some of this last uh, drop, season four? Okay. Hey, episode 46, man. <laughs> Episode 46. Let's go, man. <laughs> to another week. Yeah. <laughs> we about to pop off, man. I don't want YouTube giving us no copyright stuff. You know, make sure we we just gonna belly flop your <laughs> pop off. Light created at the very beginning is not go. the same as the light emitted by the sun. And the moon and the stars, which appeared only on the fourth day. The light of the first day was of a sort that would have enabled man to see the world, the world at a glance from one end to another. Do you understand? There's no sun, just lying in partial. The light is across the whole, the whole Amar. Anticipating the wickedness of the sinful generations of the Delage of the Tower of Babel, who were unworthy to enjoy the blessing of such a light. Hawa concealed it, but in the world to come, it will appear to the Tayus in all its pristine glory. You feel it? Now check it. Several Shamaeens were created. Twenty seven, in fact. Twenty one, each to serve a purpose of its own. The first, the one visible to man, has no function 
except that of a covering up of the light during the night time. Therefore, it appears every morning the planets are fastened to the second of the heavens. All right, so what's the first? The first is visible to you. That's the sky, right? Mm -hmm. It has no function except that of covering up the light during the night time. You feeling me? Therefore, it, it disappears every morning. The planets are fastened to the second of the heavens. All right. In the third of the manna is made for the pious, the pious, in the hereafter. The fourth contains the celestial Harushalayim, together with the temple in which Michael, in which Michael ministers as high priest. Who does Michael, the archangel, the seraphim? Oh, God. It ministers. Right. As high priest and offers the souls of the payos as sacrifices in the fifth heaven that the dragon's host reside and sing the praises of Hawa, though only during the night for by day it is the task of Hashuel on earth to give glory to Hawa on high the sixth heaven is an uncanny spot. They're originating. Most of the trails and visitations ordained for the earth and its inhabitants. Snow lies heaped up there in hell. There are lofts full of nauseous dew, magazines stocked with storms and cellars, holding reserves of smoke, doors of fire, separate these celestial chambers which are under the supervision of the archangel archangel metatron come on now mm. metatron in the house let's go their pinocchius contents defiled the heavens until Dawi's time the prayos king prayed Kawa to purge his exalted dwelling of whatever was pregnant with evil. It was not becoming that such things should exist near the merciful one. Only then they were removed from earth. Wow, wow, wow. The seventh heaven, on the other hand, contains naught but what is good and beautiful, right, justice and mercy and storehouses of life, peace and blessing, the souls of the pious, the souls of souls and spirits of unborn generations the do with which hawa will revive the dead on the resurrection wow. of hawa, hawa, and above all the divine throne surrounded by the seraphim the Othenian, the holy hayat and the ministering dragons corresponding to the seven heavens hawa created seven amas seven herbs each separated from the next by five layers okay corresponding to the seven heavens Hawa created seven herbs each separated from the next by five layers over the lowest earth the seven called a reeds lie in succession, the abyss, the teho and behu, a sea and water. Then the sixth earth is reached, the Adam Adama, the scene of magnificence of Hawa. In the same way, Adama is separated from the fifth earth, the Arka, which contains Henia, Je Jehenia, and Sharia. Mawet and Mawet and Shehar and Zam Awet and Bear Sheha Bear Sheha and Tit Ha Yawan and Tit Ha Yawan and Aba, Abadan and Sheho and there the souls of the wicked are guarded by the 
dragons of destruction. In the same way, our Ka is followed by Haraba, the dry, the place of brooks and streams in spite of its name, as the next called Yaba, Yaba Sha. The mainland contains the rivers and the springs. Tibel, the second earth, is the first mainland inhabited. Living creatures, 365 species, all essentially different from those of their own earth. Some have human heads set on the body of a lion or a serpent or an ox. Others have human bodies topped with the heads of one of these animals. Besides, Tibel is inhabited by human beings with two heads or four hands and feet. In fact, with all their organs doubled, excepting only the trunk. It happens sometimes that the parts of these double persons quarrel with each other, especially while eating and drinking. When each claims the best, largest portion for himself, this species of mankind is distinguished for great pity. Another difference between it and the inhabitants of our earth. Our own earth is called Helad, and like the others, it is separated from Tebel by an abyss, the Tehu and Behu, a sea of waters. Thus one Ama, thus one earth rises above the other. From the first to the seventh, and over the seventh earth, the heavens are vaulted from the first to the seventh, the last of them attached to the arm of Hawa. The seven heavens from a unity, the seven kinds of earth form a unity, and the heavens of the earth together also form a unity. When Hama, when Hawa made our present heavens and our present earth, the new heavens and new earth were also brought forth. Come on now, I mm. told you. When Hawa created your world, he you created the future world to come. And the 196,000 worlds of Hawa created unto his own glory. Got that, huh? And the, and the 196,000 worlds which Hawa created unto his own glory. Mm. It takes 500 years to walk from the earth. Hey, hop to the real was popping off. You know what I'm saying? Yosef the real, the one, the only, the real one. You know what I mean? Hey, hop for everything you do. You know what I'm saying? This is a really important drop, man. And you can keep getting that drop from Yosef the real every single Monday, 10 o'clock Pacific time, man. And, uh, you know, this is another, I mean, this is the first dragon sponsor on the wall. You know, as soon as we drop the sponsorships, you know, allowed them to, uh, you know, pop off, man. I mean, the bro was first in line, man. And he's been uh, nothing but steady water right here in the home team, man, at 432 to drop. Radio. Hey, we belly flopping. Almost out of here. Almost out of here, man. I mean, oh, we almost out of here. Let's get, um, which one do I want left? Let's get this Caramayo drop. Let me see how, how we doing, how we doing. I got it. I got to check in with my bro, Cootie Man. Yo, yeah, perfect, perfect. Let's let's get it. Let's get a good five, six minutes from this kid, Cootie Man. Yo, and my, I'm just so proud of my bro, man. My bro's been doing nonstop recon, nonstop work for the tribe, inspiring the entire nation, letting them know who they are, letting them know they're not. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate you, bro. Keep popping off, man. And he gives so much a hop to us, but I want to make sure we give him back. You know what I'm saying? That Dracon. Coom, man, because he's rising and he's continuing to rise. And we wish you nothing but continued coom, my naga. Hey, this is the untold ancient American truth, my naga. <laughs> Kuri meo, pop off, bro. Support the channel. If you're not already over there, get on over there, man. Ahau is popping off. Earliest humans stayed at the America's oldest hotel in Mexican cave. Cootie Mayo, you're going to have to let us know. This ain't no play play. Allego. 
earlier than people were previously thought to have reached the Americas. Excavations of Chiquite Cave, located in a mountainous area in northern Mexico, controlled by drug cartels, uncovered nearly 2,000 stone tools from a small section of a high-altitude cave. Analysis of the sediment in the cave uncovered a new story of the colonization of America. Again, a whole new story, another rewriting of history. Mm -hmm. Again. All right, again, I'm just giving you examples. There's so many. I'm just giving you guys some examples I found. This is just some one, one, one website I was going to, you know. This takes time. So it says here, Gulf site research pushes back date of earliest North Americans. Oh, not again. Wait, pushing back the date again? Luminescence dating confirms human presence in North America prior to 16,000 years ago. Earlier than previously thought. Again, this is from 2018. Why you haven't updated the textbooks then, huh? <laughs> huh? Desert Research Institute. Why haven't you contacted the educational board in Texas and all these places that are controlling the info? Why haven't you told them this, huh? Archaeological evidence has increasingly called into question the idea of Clovis first. Now a study has dated a significant assemblage of stone artifacts to 16 to 20,000 years of age, pushing back the timeline of the first human inhabitants of North America before Clovis by at least 2,500 years. So Graham Hancock told us in one of his interviews that they just kept um, pushing back the date. It's going to keep pushing back the date. They have now accepted that the Clovis theory is not the only theory. It's a fact amongst most modern, you know, historians, geologists, and all these people, anthropologists, that it does go past Clovis, all right? So get that oh, Clovis God. out of your head, Clovis. <laughs> get that Clovis out of your head. Out your head, Science News here says new artifacts suggest people arrived in North America earlier than previously thought again. This is from 2019, Oregon State University. Stone tools and other artifacts unearthed from an archaeological dig at the Copper's Ferry site in western Idaho suggest that people lived in the area 16,000 years ago, more than a thousand years earlier than scientists previously thought. So if I'm telling you right now, right, if they had it wrong this whole time and the dates keep being pushed back, are we going to keep listening and believing everything they tell us? If they don't know, what, how can they tell us then what's real? They didn't know. You know what I'm saying? All right, I hope you enjoyed the presentation. Make sure to hit like and share. Much love and respect for tuning in. We're just going over some examples and correlating. It's not just about the Calaveras skull. There's so many artifacts, not just in the... If they can't tell us who we are, how can they tell us who we're not? America's worldwide that... Um, basically debunks mainstream history and uh, the way people spread and migrate around the world or evolution or whatever you want to call that out of Africa. Theories, theories and theories and more theories and opinions and hypothesis. <laughs> yeah. Let go. Cooley let go. Wow. All right. We continue. Wow. Wow. Just got to give my mouth a little break, my jaw and stuff. You know, we're going to do a lot of reading. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, just bear with me. You know. All right, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Pop off, man. Hey, fair use. We just building here. We just vibing. It says here. The 1849 gold rush to the state of California was the beginning of some of the most unusual reported finds of early man in North America. The gold bearing gravels in California are recognized as being tertiary. I remember what that was. That's millions of years old. We're talking about at least 1.6 and up. I mean, and older. At the time of these gravels were deposited, volcanic eruptions also laid down lava beds, often tens of scores of feet thick. So, you know, there's, dirt, there's, there's uh, gravel and then there's lava flows on top of that and then other layers. So you got a picture of this. Remember the images 
uh, we were showing earlier, with the different layers. This occurred a number of times and together with much erosion since then have now resulted in the table mountains, the table mountains. That is lava capped hills where the harder lava has better withstood erosion stresses while surrounding softer material has been swept away. It is under the hard uh, lava beds in the gold bearing auriferous gravels where the reported human bones and artifacts were found. Such artifacts were found not just once or twice, but hundreds of times. Again, hundreds of times. It's not just about the Calavera skull. Hundreds of times by miners during the span of time from the 1850s through the 1890s while engaged in mining operations. Findings were spread over a wide geographical era. All right? That's the hijack. You're rewriting history. That there is large body of evidence, the strength of which it is impossible to deny, which seems to prove that man existed in California previous to the cessation of volcanic activity in the Sierra Nevada to the epoch of the greatest extension of the glaciers in that region and to the erosion of the present river canyons and valleys at a time when the animal and vegetable creations differed entirely from what they now are and when the topographical features of the state were extremely unlike those exhibited by the present surface, that man existed even at that very remote epoch, which goes back at least far as the Pleocene, the Pleocene, and by millions of years old, was still the same as we now find him to be in that region, and the same that he was in the intermediate period after the cessation of volcanic activity. And while the erosion of the present river canyons was going, all right, Becker gives account after account of discoveries. All right, so hold on. Let me just read this. It says here, this is an artifact. So we know, see, they couldn't deny that this was, uh, you know, not human made, not artificial, you know, because look at it. They found this in these gravels, in these auriferous gravels from the Pleocene time. How did this end up here? Because this ain't even about a skull. So are you saying this fell in there too? Mortar and pestle found in auriferous gravel, Spanish Platte, El Dorado County, California, University of California, Berkeley. All right. That's here. Figure two. Pestle found in auriferous gravel, Kincaid Flat, Balloon County, California, University of California, Berkeley. Designation 1420. It says here, Becker gives account after account of discoveries in these gold bearing gravels in California. Uh, Becker is a... Uh, I believe a geologist or a historian. Well, he's very credited. He's uh, quoted in some other readings we're going to read. Uh, but it's saying that he, you know, was a very credited uh, scientist, gave account after account of discoveries and these gold bearing gravels in California. In 1877, the superintendent of Mount King Suma Tunnel Company found several spearheads of some dark rock and nearly one foot in length, a small mortar three or four inches in diameter and of irregular shape, a large well-formed pestle, and nearby a large and very regular mortar. And in the statement made before a notary public on August 2nd, 1890, the superintendent, Mr. Neal, declared upon oath that all of these relics were found the same afternoon and were within a few feet of one another and close to the bedrock. All right? And that it was utterly impossible Sorry, that these relics can have reached the position in which they were found, except that at the time the gravel was deposited. It didn't fall in there is what they're telling you. It was there when it, with everything else that was in there during that time and before the lava cap formed. All right, these are people telling you an oath. Hey, Master, I saw it. I saw it. I swear I saw it. There was not the slightest trace of any disturbance of the mass or of any natural fissure into it by which access could have been obtained either there or in the neighborhood. All right. Where's the true old world? All right. Figure five, pestle found in a roofer's gravel forest home, Amadro County, California, University of California, Berkeley. Figure four, pestle found in Arifra's Gravel, El Dorado County, California, University of California. All right, we're talking about California or the land of Queen Khalifa. 
Khalifa. Bang. Are we talking about that it was an island? Are we talking about that it was attached to more of Asia or some other land that is sunk now? Are we talking about that it was split by the Red Sea? By the real Red Sea? The real Red Sea. We're talking about Baja California? The real Red Sea? The objection that these objects somehow found their way into the gravels from modern day Indian cultures on the surface was used for many years against any idea that they are ancient artifacts. Yet, that's virtually 1888 says that they cannot have come from the surface for none are ever found there. So he's, he made a great point there. So, all right, so if they're coming from the surface, where's all the rest of them? They're, you don't find any of those artifacts in the surface. They're not even there. So what, what do you mean they came from the surface? They're not even found under the surface. There's no artifacts there. That was there from a long time ago. Let me know. For none are ever found there. And many of them have been seen by Mr. Glass with the original gravel adhering to them. The original gravel stuck to the bone. All right, it's stuck to it. Occasionally, mortars are found on the surface in the neighboring gulches, but only where the gulch has intersected the gravels, and these mortars are clearly derived from the old white gravels. Furthermore, scarcely reports that this country was inhabited by a digger Indians by the digger Indians until about the year 1865. My friend, Mr. Glass, was well acquainted with them, and assures me that they do not use such mortars. So even the local Indians are telling them, man, that's not us, man. That's not our stuff, man. We don't do that. We don't use that to do that. That's not our stuff, man. Stop trying to give us credit for that. That's not our stuff. They're letting them know. They hollowed out rocks in situ and they impounded the acorns on which they so largely subsisted. They were acquainted with these mortars, but knew nothing about the markers of them and held them in such superstitious dread that on no account could they be induced to touch one. They didn't even touch these relics because they knew it was the ancestors or somebody else. They, didn't, they knew that's sacred. Facts. This dread of the relics of past ages seems to be everywhere common, and it's of itself proof of, of antiquity. And this is one right here, figure eight, small point mortar found near Georgetown, El Dorado County, California, University. It's a more recent book by the American Museum of Natural History. Hester, 1962, makes the following comments regarding the earlier mentioned C.J. King find. If the gravels in which the castle was found and the lava which lay just above it were indeed products of the Pliocene period, which preceded the Great Ice Age, then we have to face a staggering idea here. We have to believe that a strain of Homo sapiens originated in the New World. What originated where in the new so-called New World? Listen to what they're telling you right here. They had to admit all these finds are like in these times. But then what happened? Somebody comes talking about no Bering Strait 2000, 12,000 years ago. That's it. That's it. And everybody else believed it and went with it. But they're letting you know right here, we have to believe that a strain of Homo sapiens originated in the New World long before Java Man, long before Java Man. No man, yeah man, yeah man, yeah man, yeah. Lego. We have to believe that he acquired the skills of the New Stone Age, far ahead of man in the Old World. They're talking about on the other side of the world. It was here first, far before them, far before Pay attention, break the spell. Far before. And that he then disappeared. Oh, you disappeared. Oh, now again you disappeared. Just like the Maya disappeared, the Hopi disappeared, on the side. All these people disappeared, right? The Aztec disappeared. They where did they go? They went to Mars, right? That's what they want us to think. <laughs> oh, they disappeared, right? All oh, these people disappeared, right? <laughs> <laughs> Cootie Bay, oh, even... <laughs> Moors on Mars, man. Hey, man. Hey, we just popping off, man. <laughs> they disappeared. More lands beyond the pole. Get in the classroom of Cootie Bay, oh. I think we got one more. We got one or two more, you know what I mean? Um, excellent wave surfers that we got to, you know, give some honor to. And uh, I need you to continue giving honor to these real ones. This is your Honiton, the Hebrew Prince, man. He's been popping off with us from day one. I mean, dedicated, consistent, kind, you know what I mean? And, uh, man, 
fought back. He's been warning us, man, you know. He's been shouting out. He's been blowing that shafar with all this tenderona, tenderoni situations, man. And, uh, you know, we're going to fall back and hear some of this, uh, you know, latest. Um, you know, let's, let's go to this end time drop. This is episode 37 of The Real Spill, man, popping off every single Monday, 8 o'clock Pacific, only at 432, The Drop Radio. <laughs> Lego. Peace, power, Ahab to the family. All praises be to the Most High. The creator of all things. Shalom, family. You know who this be. This be your boy, Yohanna, the Hebrew Prince, coming to you with another segment of Real Spill. And I must admit, it feels good to be back on this mic. I, I just want to say thank you to the support, you know what I'm saying, received. And just people just being patient with me for a little while. It's definitely been a, um, what I would say, a journey. Had to move back across the country again. So now I'm, you know, back in my place of dwelling. Happy about that. But, you know, still fighting a battle. So we'll see where it goes from there. This is what I need to tell you, family. All right. It is real talk out here. It's real, it's real spill out here. When I tell you that you are going to have to make a decision, I know I've been, listen, I know I've been, you know, three weeks off, you know, trying to handle business with my family and things like that, but my message don't change. Psalms chapter 12, verse eight, the wicked walk on every side when the vilest men are exalted, KJV type. That's what we're dealing with. Let's read that again. Psalms 12 and eight, the wicked walk on every side. When the vilest men are exalted. If you look around right now, you will look around and you will see who's been exalted. You will see who's in government, who's in the medical profession, who's in the ph pharmaceutical industry, who's over the corporations, who's over these secret societies and groups, who's running it. Look at the people. Look at their background. Look at what they stand for. Look at their family history. Look at the wealth that they have been able to accrue during this time, during this so-called pandemic, a time where we're supposed to be fighting for our health, pulling resources together to ensure that we all survive, right? But look at it. Does it look like that from those who have been exalted? I don't need to name names. You can look around and see. And if you can't see, ask the most high to give you discernment and to open your vision. Because it's quite clear on who's been exalted in this earth, who we have made our idols and our gods in the flesh who we revere, who we spend our time following and the messages that they have given us and how we have so blindly believed in all that they say to the point to where we will go get a serum injected into our bodies that we know absolutely nothing about. I don't fault people who have had vaccines before. I've had all of them, for the most part, my job requires it. And I did it in ignorance. I did it in when I when I didn't know. There was nothing about taking a flu shot. I've been hearing about a flu shot since I can remember. Chicken pox, measles, mumps, rubella. All this stuff is what I was raised up with. Like this was just what it is. I didn't think to question it. I didn't know the question. Now I do. 
you can't melt and pour another vaccine into me. I'm done. Not happening with my family neither. We're done because we know better now. We've done the research. Realize that this mess in our body is garbage. So what are we doing now? Detoxing. Getting on the right kind of diets and things like that to get these heavy metals and stuff out of our body as much as possible. But even more importantly than that, a fast. One thing I don't hear about in our community. And I got to get this off my chest. Like I said, it's been three weeks. I got a lot going on. I got a lot in my spirit. We don't proclaim fast much. Pushing away from the table. Getting that water. Don't eat anything. No fruits, no vegetables, no rice, no chicken, no vegan diet, no anything. You'll be a water for a period. <laughs> Just God, water. Let go. Drink water. Fast. Sackcloth. Ashes. Real spill type fast. I was able to complete a 72 hour fast about a couple of months ago. The best I've ever felt. When I say a fast, I'm talking nothing but water for 72 hours. Didn't eat nail one calorie worth of food. Nothing. Day one, easy. You know, you get a little bit of tar breath, so you bring your little toothbrush with you. Make sure that you brush your tongue, the palate of your mouth, brush your teeth throughout the middle of the day. You're good. Day two, though, I'm not even going to lie to you. Body is switching and say, oh, where my calves at? Where the fuel? Where the food? Already. Nigga, what is you doing? So you start feeling a little bit weak, a little bit. You go through the little weak spell, little withdrawals because you're not putting sugars in your bodies and and all this other garbage that's in the foods, right? So your body like, yo, where the fix at? Where, where is that sugar? I'm, I'm about due for an insulin response. And I can't do it. Body started twerking a little bit. Started tweaking out. And what I mean by that is it got a little weak. Uh, needed to conserve energy as much as I could. Couldn't move as fast. Had to take my time. By day three, though, listen, smooth sailing, brand new attitude, feeling great, energy pretty good, on the up and up. Probably could have went for five days easy, but I stopped at the third with my wife and I, joint fast, husband and wife, nothing but water, 72 hours, try it, see what you can do. Pop off. Start off with 12 hours, you get up in the morning, get your little breakfast, don't eat again until that until that same number hour that night. See what it do for you. Then try to push it to 24 hours. Then go to 36. Then go to 48. And so on and so forth. And see what you can get from that. And during that time, get before the most high. Write your prayers out. Okay. Supplicate to the most high. Ask for forgiveness. Anybody want to join me starting to fast today on this Monday? Getting it in. Well, I'm actually starting mine last night, Sunday night. But let's get into this fast together, family. Now, disclaimer, not a doctor. So I have to put this disclaimer on record. Please consult <laughs> with your physician. That's belly PCR test sent out by the CDC. They like, oh my bad. I'm like, boy, please. So I'm telling you, what's happening? When have you ever seen a vaccination campaign for the whole world? Mm -hmm. Not just a segment of people. We talking the whole world. Facts. Everybody. Nobody is is immune to this thing. Okay. No pun intended. Nobody can escape the decision coming out of the pipeline. I forget what Supreme Court that was, but they, I, I forget it's either Supreme Court or Federal Court, whatever court that is, they just threw out a case. Well, I think it was in, I want to see Texas, 170 nurses, or doctors and nurses, I want to say nurses. Let's call them medical professionals, because I don't want to misquote wrong. Was told that they had to pretty much take this COVID-19 test 
I mean, a uh, vaccine. They were like, nah. And all of them got suspended off their job. So they filed a lawsuit. That lawsuit got thrown out. That's pretty bad. What did that just do? That set a precedence from the court. What? So what the other jobs may start doing? Hey, you got to get vaccinated or you can't work here. So then you try to go to the court talking about you going to sue them. Precedence has already been made that they don't that they could throw that case right out. And they can reference this case right here that just happened to where you won't have nothing. What are you going to do? What are we going to do? I always say this. If the most high, listen, I know the most high is our, is our safe. But the, the most high time is not the same as what we think the time should be at most of the time. They had a, I don't mean to go back to church on y'all, but there's an old saying that he's right on time. May not come when you want him, but he'll be there right on time. So our time may not be the time that the most high think is right. So I always say if he tarry for just a little while, we got decisions to make until he get here. Until he feel like enough is enough and things have shaped up the way they needed to shape up from his infinite wisdom view that we don't have access to. So we got to be strong, fam. We got to know what's happening. Dr. Judy Miskovitz. J U D Y, Judy Miskovitz. M I K O V I T Z. Warns that 50 million Americans may die from COVID 19 injections. 50 million. She's a, vir- a virologist. Very well known. Has definitely been. At this point, though, she's been defamed, ostracized from her community for the most part because she decided to go against the status quo as it relates to COVID-19 and also HIV. What if I told you HIV may not even be a real thing, that they lied? You got to go check that book out. Go check a book called, uh, I want to say it's called Virus Mania, written by Dr. Sam Bailey. I'm in the midst of reading that now. Very good book. There's some droplets for you. What if you found out that the entire reason why HIV exists is just money purposes? This whole that HIV is nothing more than a theory. What if you what if that was the thing? Uh oh. What if you find out it was the drugs, the antiviral medicine being used that actually wound up killing the people? Dang. Not HIV, turn it into AIDS. Dang. Might be hard to digest, but hey, I will say this. <laughs> when I look at the fact that the United States government made over $380 billion Dang. for HIV and AIDS research, boy, I'll tell you one thing, you follow that dollar, it looks real compelling that we might have some shady mess happening. Oh boy. Just saying. Oh boy. Might need to go look at that. What if you find out the entire uh, modern medicine is based off of a theory known as the germ theory. Go look that up. Go smash your face bone with that. (laughs) What if you find out germs, the germ theory that germs are pathogens that infects and kill us ain't even a real thing. What if you find out the entire industry, everything we know about medicine is based off of a theory that hasn't been proven. What would you do how would you feel i would tell you i feel mad as hell because that's how i feel right now decisions that my family have had to endure and make during the span of my career for our children to be safe the separation we've had to endure the things we've had to encounter all because of a medical industry that decided to build its foundation off of something that's not even totally substantially proven. You can only imagine how angry that makes me. It's frustrating. And there's nothing you can do about it except just stand on your two feet and tell them no. That's it. And pray to the most high that they don't try to retaliate. 
to the point to where you wind up being so far, you you be so far down that you got to reach up to touch bottom. Mm. So when I tell you that these decisions that's coming down the pipeline is real, I'm not saying it to scare nobody. It is what it is. And you got to be prayed up. You got to be strong. That's what I'm saying. Anybody want to ride up in this fast with your boy? Come holler. Let's get it. My wife and I are going to be on it. Because we need answers from the most high. We need direction. We need to be able to spiritually connect. We also need to purify our bodies. Get this junk out of us. That water going to help with that. Burning these, these fat molecules. Getting that mess. Come to find out that a lot of the stuff that we got stored up in our bodies. That, that them fat molecules. Stores toxins. You get rid of the fat. You get rid of the toxins. It's that simple. Got parasites living up, living in us. You fast for a little bit, they go away. They die because they don't have nothing to feed off of. It's a lot to this thing. It's the reason why the Most High always gave us a period of fasting. God, God. God, God. It wasn't just spiritual, it was physical as well. Because if your physical temple jacked up, ain't no connection to the Most High. How can you? Your temple is trash. You got to <laughs> clean it up. Clean it up, my Nagas. Clean it up. You're hearing the message, man, right from the cons. You know what I mean? Like, we're all here for a reason. You know what I'm saying? There's a reason that we're part of this mission. We all got our part. You know what I'm saying? We all got each other's back. And whatever, you know what I'm saying, our aqua aqua is inspired to kick off. You know what I'm saying? Because we know it's KTC. We know it's coming from the real. We know the importance of getting, you know, living well. Like Brother Nature been kicking, man. You know, getting off. You know, a lot of these parasites, because that's really the main thing, too. Like you said, all, all this fat, but it's these parasites in our body. You know what I mean? So, although, you know, we got to, you know, do our recon on the on the plant-based side, because you got a lot of traps and snares over there. You know what I mean? But we got to definitely get these parasites. And even if the most high may clean and unclean, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's a law you make just to make sure the tribe don't go too far off. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you'd say, all right, if you're going to eat a bunch of, you know, meat and parasites, all right, here's the one that we definitely don't want you to touch. You know what I'm saying? This is not for you to touch, you know? This is the one that, all right, these are the clean animals if you have to, if you have to but it's not like you're commanded to, you know, um, you know, continue to fill your body up with this stuff, you know what I mean? Especially when it's mystery meat. And the parasites are now talking nano, now in nano form, man. So allow a while, man. The bro is kicking real spill fast. Get off the junk, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, ask for these answers, you know. It's not about freaking out like you're saying. It's about, you know, having the knowledge, the wisdom. We're all going through a lot. We're all handling it different ways, you know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, the most high's time, like you said, is is perfect. You know what I mean? But we don't have to look at it like in some religious facet of, you know, his time is his time and yada, yada, yada. Now it's, it's really about understanding that there ain't no time, you know, there ain't no time. So it's really about when you're ready, <laughs> when you're popping off and you're ready, that's when it's ready. You know what I'm saying? That's when it's time. Um, There ain't no time. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, there there are markers. There are marks, there are there are checkpoints to hit. And when you feel yourself hitting these checkpoints, you know, you know what I'm saying, that you got the power, we got the power to charge up. And if this is what we got to do, we know we're going to do it well. You know, if it's time to, you know what I'm saying, pop off, man, we know that we got it in us, my naga, to fight with the creator, you know, <laughs> not against the creator, with the creator on our side. And that's what... The hijack know for sure is that no matter what we don't know, you know what I'm saying? Whatever we don't know, whatever we think we know, whatever we don't know, we know for sure that the creator's rocking with his people. We know that we in code, and we know what comes with code is protection, a wall of protection. So, you know, our time, the creator time, we know we right on time. And we know there ain't no time. <laughs> Only the way, man. We got a lot of drop surfing away with the tribe. Just to let you know where to check in at. You know what I'm saying? Get the tribe up music over here with Five Eyes. My matter of fact, 
Matter of fact, man, we got we got one more track. <laughs> hey, this fresh cold drop. I like this fresh cold drop a lot, man. You know what I'm saying? This was a long time in the making, man. The bros already know. Uh, let's go ahead and kick this fresh cold, man, for the dismount, and then we'll get a uh, a natural by law. Uh, a duble with natural by law back into that Canaanite series because we're going to start talking about them, them dog headed, them dog faces again. You know what I'm saying? We can't take our foot off the neck bone of these dog heads. Check in with the bro, Nine Spiral. Check in with the bro, Templar. Make sure you are in the classrooms at 432thedrop.com. You know what I'm saying? Become a dracon on the wall. To support the tribe so we can break bread and do what we got to do. My nugget at 432 to drop. It's all happening. We're in the frequency. You know what I'm saying? We're in the frequency around here. And we got some great aqua time poetry. Or excuse me, we got some aqua time battle time. <laughs> Last time I think we got the aqua time poetry live in full effect. But you can always get that. You know, just surfing the wave, man. Just download the app. You're going to get the drop. You know what I mean? So, Ahab to the real ones, you know, and again, every single Monday, you know, you're going to get your, your haunting Hebrew prince at eight, nine o'clock is, uh, thinking out loud with the pro five eyes, ma, 10 o'clock. We got Yosef to real Templars on Tuesday. We popping off at nine Judah, the great Jedi at eight, my nugget, Kalei lose. You know, we got the American Holocaust, the, the press the hour, on Monday nights as well. It's all happening, man. We got Natural by Law at 10 o'clock on Wednesday. Top Battle 9 o'clock on Wednesday. We just popping off. Aqua Chef Candy. Chef Candy's back in the ether. Every single Thursday, 8.30 Pacific. Love to Chef Candy. She made her way back. All these droplets. She finally got the space to operate. So, A-Hop to Aqua Chef Candy. Calm Fresh said he's back up in the spot. Hey, shout out to my bro, Legend, the DJ, about to be brand new show right here, 432 to drop radio. So become a dragon on the wall. Support what we're doing. You know what I mean? We're in the frequency. We're in the flow. And we need you. You know what I'm saying? We need our 500 co-keepers. Look out for the GoFundMe to build our fence to begin a beautiful project that we can see, you know, in real time. You know, the beautiful uh, flow that Hawa got when we tribe up. You know what I'm saying? Hey, shout out to Joy World, a hey, peculiar joy for the inspiration. You know what I mean? Really the the boost, the energy, the frequency, the vibration. Our aquas are popping off, man. And our aki, hey, hit up naturalbylaw.net. Surf the way with the bro. Come over here. Say what it do. Hey, this is that Canine series, man. Can we belly flop for the dismount? Surfing the wave with the ether. Squid we just pop it So rather than take us around a whole loop, I like to stay on track. So it says, at the time of crisis, Bell's followers sacrificed their children, apparently the firstborn of the community to gain personal prosperity. The Bible called this practice detestable. God specifically, <coughs> specifically mm. appointed the tribe of Levi as his, as his special servants in place of the firstborn of the Israelites so that they had no excuse for offering their children. The Bible's repeated condemnation of child sacrifice shows Hawa's hated, shows Hawa hated of it, especially among his people. Asherah was worshiped in various ways, including through ritual sex. Although she was believed to be Baal's mother, she was also his mistress. Pagans practice sympathetic magic, that is, they believe that they can influence the gods' actions by performing the behavior they wish the gods to demonstrate. Believing the sexual union of Baal and Asherah produced fertility, their worshippers engage in immoral sex to cause the gods to join together, ensuring good harvest. This practice became the basis of Excuse me. This practice became the basis for religious prostitution. The priest or a male member of the community represented Baal. The priestess or a female members of the community represented Asherah. In this way, God's incredible gift of sexuality was perverted to the most obscene public prostitution. 
No wonder Hawaii's anger burned against his people and their leaders. And we definitely see this sexual immorality every day, at every second, on any electronic device whatsoever, all right? And this is Mando 24-7. You can't get away with it. Whether it's lewd acts or, you know, just plain blatancy, or if it's even to the, you know, wild secrets of the homosexuality um, that should be behind closed doors. It's all put out in the open and it's even being advertised to children at an incredible speed and rate. All right, so this is practiced heavily in today's society of modern America. Many, if not all, of the Old Testament gods had disappeared, at least in name. By the time of Jesus, <laughs> Beelzebub, based on the Philistine god, Bezobul, had become a synonym for the prince of demons, or Satan, right? says many of the ancient pagan deities lived on, however, now identified with the gods of the Greeks and Romans, the nations who controlled the people of Israel before and during New Testament times. It is not appropriate here to discuss all the gods and goddesses of the Greco-Roman pantheon. However, a few of them were significant in the first century, and some even mentioned by name in the Bible. The leader of the gods, Zeus, Jupiter to the Romans, took on the role of Baal, the god of the weather or storms, Artemis, the goddess of childbirth and fertility, and Aphrodite, the goddess of love, continued the Asherah cult under a new name, but worship, but with worship practices that were as immoral as ever. It is said that in Corinth alone, there were more than 1,000 prostitutes in Aphrodite's temple. And so on and so on. Right? And they, they get to um, their little examples. It says the grotto itself was part of a temple complex used in the worship of the Greek god Pan. All right, and we already know about Pan because, again, this is part six, and we're only um, been referring to, you know, the animalistic makeup of, of, of the hybrid, right? And um, Pan is the focus these days as the goat god, all right, as the goat god. And this is why you keep hearing the term goat everywhere you go, everywhere you go. You're just goat, <laughs> all right, which wouldn't really surprise me when we're digging on the term dang, because this all goes back into, you know, the mother goddess. And when we're dealing with the mother goddess, especially within the industry or the occult, um, it's a high reverence, as we read for the etymology breakdown on the term dang. It says Pan was depicted as an ugly man with horns or with the horns, legs, and ears of a goat, see, of a goat. Most stories about him refer to sexual affairs. The worship practices of his followers were no different. Pan was associated with Dionysus, the Greek god of wine, and orgies who worshippers continued many of the sexual rites of the Old Testament gods of the Baal cult. It says Dionysus was worshiping the pagan Decapolis across the Sea of Galilee from the center of Jesus' ministry. Clearly, though the name of the gods had changed, the people's worship practices had not. Only the child sacrifice of the bell cult came to an end with the Greeks and Romans. And um, we're going to break it down because it really didn't end. <laughs> It just transformed and the hijack still continues. Oh, God. So Ahab to the real one. Peace, peace. So here we're going to look at the biggest corporation or agency as we can see, right? Agency 
the biggest agency that um, has their hand in so-called child sacrifice, right? And it's from places like these, like welfare agencies and foster care, adoption assistant programs, you see what I'm saying? Program. Now taking to mind with the, with the definitions of agency and program. All right. And just look at how they all correlate to one another. How they all are interconnected and woven. Okay. And um, you can clearly see the, the, the implementation and the intention behind these agencies or organizations. All right. So we're going to go ahead and get some more clarity. All right. Now, it says as of May 31st, 2021, the average annual pay for a foster parent in California is 36847 a year. Just in case you need a simple salary calculator, that works out to be approximately $17.72 an hour. This is the equivalent of $709 a week or $3,071 or seven, $3, a month. So this is big business. Huge business. Right? Extremely big business. And, um, when we see how much it costs the government, the government is spending about five point two hundred and sixty five billion dollars, all right, to upkeep with this agency of foster care for you know neglected children. And honestly, this is where a lot of them are trained. At. So you get to see a lot of your your children being trained into these things. And we keep in mind that, um, as we seen earlier, DMX um, actually discovered his stage name in a boys' group home, right? Which is a form of foster care. And Damien was basically adopted, right, and had foster parents. And um, you, you see how that, that ended up, right? And we see the kind of effect that this tends to have on children brought up in this process, okay? And this is the modern day way they're, uh, they're able to do this, all right? This is how they're able to maintain their 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 ritualistic uh, practices. All right. Now, this <laughs> I keep hitting the same thing. That's not what I'm trying to do. But anyway, this tends to 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 be the way that um, children are trafficked. All right, and we're going to get into some examples on exactly what I mean by child sacrifice. Okay, because I want to highlight specifically some specific. Um, details and cases. So we're going to jump straight into that. Ahab to the dragons, to the dragoons. Dragoons. Let's get it. As you can see, the bro is serious about the recon, serious about giving you the message. So that's why I wanted to hit it with a duble. Make sure you're checking in and also support the bro on his Patreon. And, uh, you know, of course, naturalbylaw.net. And, you know, I had a good time surfing the wave with my real ones, man. Nice spiral, man. <laughs> Templar, yeah, you know I man. Of course, natural, man. We've been in that five eyes, my. 
playlist the whole time. Enjoy the flow. Hashtag facts. Hashtag facts. We got to do it. We got to do it for the tribe. Shout out to KB, the hijacker. Sit down, Lil Keith. Yo, the Real, Natural by Law. Ma, uh, Five Eyes Ma, <laughs> CJ Battleman. Hashtag facts for the dismount. Tribe up music, man. <laughs> Ain't get no realer than this, man. And hey, we out here, baby. Yeah, it is. Yeah, go. Been smoking with the Benz post. Top shelf will let him hold it. All the war we've been chosen. Been Bench pressing, pressing on these dead homies. We gon' win on the dead homies. Ancestor with these hand gestures. Manchester with these hand cannons. Bad man with these bandanas. Slip never no Murad. Rip weather no Atlantic. Come master, advance west. Hashtag facts. Oh, oh man, we gotta get it from the top, man. Replay. Hashtag facts. My mind. Been smoking with a Benz post. Top shelf will let him hold it. All the war we've been chosen. Bench pressing on they dead homies. We gon' win on the dead homies. Ancestor with these hand gestures. Manchester with these hand cannons. Bad man with these bandanas. Slick never no Murad. Grip weather no Atlantic. Come master, advance west. Gang shootings are predestined. Who dreams of the whole combos? Ball courts got infested. You can see the type of shit they on. We can't breathe, we congest. House wins when the play is on. They dead honors like red letters. Throwing stones at the tricky ones. Just thought that I should undress. Maybe then they'll get the mess. Gin smoking, my wish spoken. Right stealthy, you ride show. More and more, make game over. Black on black on the Range Rover. Good roller meets good smoker. Tuck the river, let the chain rover. Rock the Citron in the copper holder. Organite for the bad exposure. Rip the knife full of iron sofa. Dragonfly to my coin throw. These jackals are so mediocre. Hashtag facts for the trifecta. You know why? Because there ain't no time. Only the way. Hashtag facts. Hashtag facts. Hashtag facts. Let's been smoking with a Benz post. Top shelf will let him hold it. All the war we've been chosen. Bench pressing on they dead homies. We gon' win on the dead homies. Ancestor with these hand gestures. Manchester with these hand cannons. Bad man with these bandanas. Slip never no Murad. Rip weather no Atlantic. Come master, advance west. Hashtag facts. Gang shootings are predestined. Who dreams of the whole combos? Ball courts got infested. You can see the type of shit they on. We can't breathe, we congest. House wins when the play is on. They dead honors like red letters. Throwing stones at the tricky ones. Just thought that I should undress. Maybe then they'll get the mess. Gin smoking, my wish spoken. Right stealthy, you ride show. More and more, make game over. Black on black on the Range Rover. Good roller meets good smoker. Tuck the river, let the chain rover. Rock the Citron in the copper holder. Organite for the bad exposure. Rip the knife full of iron soap. Dragon fire in my flame throw. These jackals are so mediocre. Hashtag fat. Off the heads, boy, I ain't joking. Hashtag fat. Deja vu with cycle motor. Hashtag fat. I'm feeling her, that's why I wrote her. Ain't no killing me, that's facts. Ain't no stopping me, that's facts. All this money on me, that's facts. Or going back on me, that's facts. Shung got pain on me, that's facts. Full of collar green, that's facts. Natural Buddha leaf, that's facts. Off that pressure tree, that's facts. Ain't no stopping me. My cosmology, sociality, spirituality, that's facts. We gon' take you off the map. Quarterback sneak gon' get you sad. Little red dot round in your hat. Too much, you gon' get you fat. Your sing along gon' get you wet. So much TV in a black hat. So much fabric in a black hat. So much drugs in the rap track. There's some illusion to where I'm at. Murder eats a shoulder, land me slack. They gon' call me crazy to the rack. But nothing's wrong with me, four. Nothing's wrong with me, three. Nothing's wrong with me, two. Nothing's wrong with me, hurt. Nothing's wrong with me, fast. These jackals are so mediocre. Hashtag Off the heads, boy, I ain't joking. Hashtag Deja vu with psycho motor. Hashtag I'm feeling her, that's why I wrote her. Hashtag uh, Writing verses, breaking curses, hijacks, repeat, dead lies, rehearsing. 
reboot them, now we reverse them, the crimes of time, ask questions like answer mine with hashtag facts, 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 had to say it three times, so you remember that, yo, limitless and infinite, yo. viral nine, access to eat the go together like coincidence, that coincide, remember, go inside, with a snake plant, no fake rent, or snake can I can do what I wanna do, ooh. No, we been at the con, now you think I'm fooling you, just me fooling you, yes I got the schooling too, no flex unless I'm lifting the weight of the world off my shoulder, move the earth, break the boulders, pop the bodies, breathe the oxygen, that's four corners, one with it all, lose it to regain it when you're older, wisdom is the beauty that I seek, so I adore her, foundation has been set for you to make sure your facts are on these jackals are so mediocre, Hashtag fat. Off the heads, boy, I ain't joking. Hashtag fat. Deja vu with psycho motor. Hashtag fat. I'm feeling her, that's why I wrote her. Hashtag fat. I say woe to the shoppers that feed themselves. I say woe to the shoppers that feed themselves. You heard me? This is like for the sin, Mary. I'm not going to be trapped. Yes, she hold. Hey, hey, hey. hey. CJ Bowie. Open mind when I just speak to the high with a mighty priest, accompanied by our queen. Ain't black, that's what it's fact. Used to call us that you sleep, couple colored heads. True man, no land, can only be from across the seas. Hashtag facts, that's what it be. Hashtag facts, that's what it be. We melted gold and forged and forged it. Sheet the weapon, they can't destroy it. I feel there's some things to see, like me aboard the private jet. No, his art is in effect. They overrun with Baphomet. ODC got him by the neck. Jeff Jack was also mediocre. Hashtag facts. Off the heads, boy, I ain't joking. Deja vu with psycho motor. I'm feeling her. That's why I wrote her. Natural. Surgery, the whole tribe done hurt me. 35th out the bank of park used to get the wings off of Normandy. Facts. Importantly, uh, we chose up accordingly. Uh, Double backs, it was body stacks, it was hijacks, and sorcery. We were supposed to be with these quarantines, it's a war machine, we was born ready. Hot sauce with a sack lunch, out the bungalows with my lungs heavy. And the eyes close, keep it going steady. Uh, I don't know, I keep the glow shedding. Uh, Proper light, way beyond the tight, gotta dive the height for the weekly rest. Charged up with the greater fame, the great spirit with his greater name. Woo! If the midget get up on the plane, after walking walk and let the man press the same. We ain't playing games, the shadow boxing, radiance to the shadow watch. Argon's in genetic doctors Rub the knob with his own pocket uh, Stopping at the window shopping Choosing down has never been the option Watch the boat because we keep it rocking Magnetizing their electric shopping Bang. Walking on this water like a knock of doom Diamond swords and dragons Waiting for 1842 These backwards are so mediocre Hashtag fat Off the heads, boy, I ain't joking Hashtag fat Deja vu with psycho motor Hashtag fat I'm feeling her, that's why I wrote her no mythology that I'm hijacked with. No, my college degree ain't 363 degrees. Got that tribal famous track. Yeah, we tribal, that's a fact. Got my shooters in the back with an arrow system back. Got the jewelry back from the mutiny. 
Shoes a mutiny, I don't know when next beat us back Got that needle freeze up, so I never freeze up Got my women knees up, from the cool 16, that's fact More water needs more flow, so we go harder, that's fact Glow try to get deflated like an old car, that's fact Postpartum, that dark horn is an old dog, that's fact Top ramen, I'm new and bacon, but I'm still charged, that's fact Top gun in my flight plan is to keep gunning, that's fact Stop stunning when we take flight and you keep running. That's right. Pedigree is the tribe of one of his vultures. That's right. Sell the breed and the vaccine for the culture. Hey, these jackals are so mediocre. Hashtag fat. Off the ass, boy. I ain't joking. Hashtag fat. Deja vu with Psycho Motor. Hashtag fat. I'm feeling her. That's why I wrote her. Hashtag fat. Facts, hey, shallow one, hey, hop to the tribe, man. drop next.